A murder victim found in 1985 has finally been identified. Yeah, police say 25-year-old Cheryl Coates' body was found in a shallow grave in Superior Township. And that's where Jacqueline Francis is picking up the story tonight. No longer a Jane Doe, we're starting to learn more about the victim Cheryl Coates, like how her cousin still lives here in Washtenaw County and that her mother died in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. 38 years later, police have put a name and face to the investigation. In January of 1985, we got a tip that there was a dead body in Superior Township. So deputies went out there and they found a woman that we believe had been murdered. So it's a homicide case, but there was no way to identify her. The Washington County Sheriff's Office has now identified her as Cheryl Coates. She was 25 years old when she died, found in a shallow grave off Stamford Road near the Woolman Oval Apartments, which were abandoned at the time. They tried over the years to identify her. In 2014, putting out this reconstructed image of the victim, tips came in, but nothing concrete. Recently, using DNA technology, they found the name of her biological mother, but then came the unexpected. And as we went to reach out to mom, what we realized is that, that she worked at the Pentagon, and on September 11th, she was at work and she lost her life. And so one of the last known contacts that we had um, was no longer with us. From there, they found the victim's cousin. As soon as we mentioned that we were there and what we were about, she said, you're talking about my cousin Cheryl. And so then the pieces started to come together. The cousin knew Cheryl had gone missing, but not much beyond that, which is why police are asking for the public's help. Cheryl Coates would now be in her early 60s. She was known to frequent the Southfield and Detroit area back around the time that she died. Anyone with information about Cheryl is asked to call the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live from the Sheriff's Office, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, thanks, Jacqueline.